Hi, Avocado Gators. It's Mrs. L. Steinbach here. I'm going to read you a book that's been in my family for many decades. Um, it was actually copyrighted in 1957, and it was um, put together by Walt Disney Production. So it's a golden book, and in my family, we knew that that was special because it had a golden binding. So this is the actual book that was in my house for many years as I grew up called Walt Disney's Scamp, The Adventure of Little Puppy. And then on the inside, what's fun about a real golden book is you'll find that it has right on the cover little golden books. That's how you know. Here's the title page, and it's Walt Disney's Scamp, told by Anne North Bedford. And the pictures are by Walt Disney Studios. And there's Scamp. All right, here we go. Lady was the mother. Tramp was the father. Their puppies were the finest ever. They were sure of that. Three were as gentle and as pretty as their mother. But the fourth little puppy, where's that puppy? Where is that scamp? They cried. You see him peeking out? He's peeking out right over here. At mealtime, three little, gentle, pretty puppies would line up waiting for their bowl. But the fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, would rush in ahead of them all. At playtime, three little, gentle, pretty puppies would play with their own puppy toys. But the fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, would nibble at anything. At bedtime, three gentle, pretty puppies would snuggle down to sleep. But that fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, chose the time to learn to how loud and long. One day, the four little puppies started off for a picnic with nice puppy biscuits for lunch. Three little puppies went straight to the park and hunted for a shady spot. But the fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, he went off on an adventure. He found some new playmates. Their game looked like fun. Psst, they didn't want Scamp to play. So Scamp got out of there. He found another playmate. It was a busy gopher digging as fast as it could dig. Looks like fun, said Scamp. How do you learn to do it? By digging, the gopher said. So Scamp dug too. He dug and dug and dug. And what do you think he found? A big, juicy bone. It was a great big bone for a small dog. Scamp pulled at it. He tugged and hauled. He tugged that bone all the way down the street to the park. Just as Scamp got there, a big bad dog was saying, Ha! I smell puppy biscuits. So he sneaked up on those little three puppies and took their puppy biscuit lunch. 
Poor little puppies. They were really very hungry, and they felt very sad. Just then, who should appear but the fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, tugging his great big bone. Hi, folks, he said. Look what I found. How about you join me? So they ate the big juicy bone for lunch, and they all had a fine time. See them all there sharing that wonderful bone? When picnic time was over, those three pretty puppies all went happily home. And the fourth little puppy, that scamp of a puppy, walked proudly as he head at the head of the line. And that is the story, Walt Disney's Scamp, The Adventure of a Little Puppy. Hope you enjoyed it, kids. Have a great rest of your day.